Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to get very cheap parking in New York City. Yes, super cheap in a parking lot. This is one of the problems that we always have when we do weddings in Central Park or any place in Manhattan. If you're not from here, um, you have to know that it is extremely difficult to get parking in the street. Even now, we are right now in the middle of the pandemic and even now, um, it is hard to find parking in the street, so if, if it's your wedding or a loved one's wedding, um, I extremely recommend uh, securing a parking spot beforehand so you know where you're going. Leave your car in a garage, a parking garage. Do not attempt to find parking in the street. I cannot emphasize this enough. You have no idea how many times weddings have been delayed because key people were late. And many times the couple is there, the couple is ready because they took a limo or an Uber or, you know, or they're right there across the street in the hotel nearby. But many times the father of the bride is not there or a sibling or a mother, uh, people that you really want with you on your wedding day and they didn't make it because they are finding parking. This just happened to us yesterday actually. We had a wedding at one of our rooftops on Fifth Avenue and 51st Street right there in the center of uh, Manhattan, in the center of town. And everybody was ready, we were ready to go, the bride, the groom, everyone was ready. And the only person we were missing was the groom's brother and he was also a witness, and the groom didn't want to start without him. Well, he was 40 minutes late. He said he, he was parking the car. When they tell me he's parking the car, it was a quarter to three. The ceremony is supposed to start at three. I thought, okay, no problem, 15 minutes, he's right here. I'm assuming he'll leave the car in a parking lot and just walk over. Evidently, he didn't do that. Evidently, this man was just trying to find parking in the area and was finding it very difficult. The only reason why you would do that, I figure, is because you want to save money. Number one, I do think it's, it's disrespectful, distasteful, it's inconsiderate, it's mean, it's rude, all of the above. When you have a loved one who wants you there for their special day, and you are trying to save a few bucks, and that's why you are late, that's awful. So. For those people who want to save money, we all do. We all want to save money in parking. I found such an amazing um, website. Hold on, I'm gonna find it for you and I'm gonna share it. It is called Spot Hero. Spot here, you can see it here and I'm gonna show you how to book it. It is the best. You can find parking for like $6, $20. I just book a uh, parking for my videographer. We have a wedding coming up next week and my videographer is coming from Long Island and he's bringing a lot of equipment. He needs parking. And I found him a parking for like four to five hours for $30, all in taxes included. It was 29 plus a uh, dollar fee, whatever, whatever, 30 bucks. It's awesome. And, uh, and I, I strongly recommend that you use it, check it out. Um, it is the greatest. And to spend 30 bucks, 20 bucks for parking uh, for your wedding day is really nothing. It's very, very cheap. It is, it's, it's something that you can do and you should do. And usually peace of mind is priceless. And if you don't do this, then what happens is that you think you can get away with it. You think you can find a, a spot on the street or whatever. And then when you don't, you're just anxious. You create stress for yourself, for your loved ones. And it's your wedding day. You don't want to do that. So if you are the couple who's watching this, please share this app. I think it's an app. I always use it on the computer, but it's an app you can download it on your phone and and it is called spot hero and it is awesome use it i'm going to share with you now um let me share my screen share here so this is what it looks like so all you do let's say here new york city new york you click and it's going to show you. And now let's say you pick 
So this is for today. This is what they're showing me for today. And I'm guessing they're showing me Midtown 46th Street. And this is all the parkings that you have around the area. Look at this one, $12. What is that? $12 for three hours from 12 to three. Uh, prime location, 49th Street. Um, so let's say we edit it and let's pick a date. So let's say you're getting married, I don't know, on Christmas Day, Christmas Day, and you need parking from 12, let's say the ceremony is at one. Okay, there, and I just put New York City, but you can actually write the address. So let's say, if you got married in Central Park, let's say Central, let's see. And we do a search. Okay, here we go. Here we are near Central Park. Look at this. You have here $20, 62nd Street. It's fantastic. You have like the typical weddings that we have are around here, 72nd Street. So look, you can park near 72nd Street, 70th and Columbus for only $25. You cannot beat that on Christmas Day. Look at that. You can park on the east side, you can park on the west side. These are all great prices for parking. Use it, take advantage of this app. I highly recommend it. Uh, share it with your friends and your family. And always make sure to tell them that the ceremony is an hour earlier. So if your ceremony is scheduled to start at 2 p.m., you tell your friends and family the ceremony starts at 1 p.m. You must lie to everyone because people will be late, no matter what, they are always late. So um, yeah, you want them to be there half an hour before the ceremony. If you're working with my team, we always welcome them. We make it super fun for them. We escort them to the ceremony location. Don't worry, they're not gonna be bored. It is really um, ideal if they are at the space 30 minutes prior to the ceremony. And for you to do that, you have to lie to them and tell them that the ceremony starts an hour early because they will be naturally, everybody will be at least 20 minutes late because nobody believes you when you tell them it starts at two, they think it's 2.15. So everybody thinks they have some time. Um, like with yesterday's wedding, uh, we are scheduled to start at three and it's three on the dot. And, and one of the guests came to see me and said, well, you know, he's trying to find, my brother is trying to find parking. And uh, what time are we gonna start 3.15? I said, no. It's at three. So our events are very punctual. We are on time. And if you, the couple is not on time to start, you are missing out. You're, you're gonna lose time with your photographer. You never want to do that. Uh, Cause otherwise you'll have to pay extra to keep them longer. But everybody is scheduled and paid by the hour. If you are, and everybody's there early. So um, you're always better off telling everyone that we're starting earlier and you are better off showing up earlier for your wedding. And if you do, we can start when you're there because we're always there at least half an hour before start time. Anyway, um, check this out, please. I hope uh, you love it. Spot Hero, that's what it's called, Spot Hero. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe for more tips, like, and uh, share. All my love.